Hi, my name is Rafael, and I'm a designer here at IDEO.org. We've been super impressed with so many of the ideas that have been submitted on the OpenIDEO platform. And today, we want to take a second to show the community how a design team here would take the first steps in prototyping, which really means taking our ideas and making them exist in the real world. We found an idea submitted on the OpenIDEO platform by an organization called Little Ripples. And the idea is to have teachers in refugee camps train mothers in early childhood development and early childhood education, and then have these mothers go out into the community and teach larger numbers of children. The thing they think will happen if this idea is successful is that one, it'll lead to improved early childhood development outcomes for a larger number of children, and two, It'll give all the mothers participating in this program a larger sense of purpose and help them overcome trauma. The next thing we do is list out assumptions and big questions. And these are things that we hope our prototype can start answering. So for this idea, we thought there were three different user groups. The first one are teachers, the people who are gonna be training mothers in the program. The second user group are mothers, and the third user group is the community, parents and children who will be benefiting from the program. And some of the assumptions that came up for us behind this idea, for teachers, the first one is that teachers will want to train mothers, that they'll want to spend their spare time going through and teaching mothers as part of this program. The second one is that teachers can quickly train mothers on how to educate kids and that this won't be a super long process. For mothers, a few of the assumptions we had is one, that mothers will want to become early childhood development teachers or have time to do it. Secondly, that mothers will be as effective in teaching early childhood development as regular teachers. And the third one was that becoming an early childhood development teacher actually helps the mothers overcome trauma. And for our third user group, community, which are the parents and the children benefiting from this program, the first one, the first assumption, was that parents will want their children to be in these ECD programs. And secondly, that children will actually learn from the mothers. So these are all assumptions that are baked into this idea that through prototyping, we can start to answer some of the key assumptions and take the next steps in iterating and improving our idea. The next step we can take is to make a prototyping plan. In a prototyping plan, what we want to do is take one or two of the big assumptions or big questions and create a test that helps us answer that question or assumption. So let's take the first one, for example. Our assumption that teachers will want to train mothers. And a real quick experiment we could build to actually figure out if this is true or not is what if we just hosted a teacher meetup after school one day where we invite all the teachers from the community to come and learn more about the program. And in this meetup, we could present the idea we could get feedback directly from the teachers to say what they like, what they don't like, how they would improve it. Um, and then maybe at the end of this session, we have a sign-up sheet where interested teachers can sign up to take the next step in becoming part of this program. And that would start to give us some indication of if people were really interested or no one was interested, if people were somewhat interested um, or had some reservations. The next step, if we wanted to test another assumption, Let's say mothers want to become early childhood development teachers. Maybe we take one of the teachers who signed up and was really enthusiastic about becoming part of this program, and then we had that teacher host another event where we invited mothers from the community to come learn about how they can become part of the program. And in that session, the teacher could go over and present how they would run the program, what the mother would get out of it, and we could do the same thing, have a sign-up sheet for mothers to gauge interest. Then maybe after we have the sign-up sheet, then we can follow up with a phone call to these mothers and have an interview with them to see why did they sign up? Um, what would, what's the biggest motivation for them to do this? How else would they want to do it if they could become part of this program? And these are just a few quick ways that we could start to answer some of our big questions. We hope this helps you think about how to test your idea in the real world. And if you're interested, we'll be hosting office hours on May 26th. Please come join us.